They believe in, in not just tolerance, but inclusion. Uh, they believe in respect, rights for women and so forth, gay people. All the things that Donald Trump doesn't stand for is what they're for. So they're ours. But we have to convince them that institutional politics is working. And so far, we haven't been able to do that at all. This is why we're getting creamed in the states. And we know you've got a favorite in this I election, do. Mayor Pete. Yep. Do you, you think he speaks to he, the millennial generation? Pete Buttigieg is a 35-year mayor of a Midwestern city of 100,000 people, runs a workforce that is diverse as the Democratic Party, served two tours in Afghanistan, and is openly gay. That is sort of the typical millennial, right? A typical first global generation. He, I, I have always believed in this party, as long as I'm in politics, that if you want a group to suddenly become part of the Democratic Party, the leadership in the party has to look like the group who you want to come in. They have to get it. He gets it. Thank you. Anything else you would add? No, that's enough. Oh, I'm very okay. good at this. No, I just had... Mm. An easy interview. I wish they were all... Thank you. Uh, I, just had one, mm, you I just had one question. For those who do not know who you are, Oh, I'm Howard D. Tell them a little bit about oh, you. Oh, hold on. You're bogarting the I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Hijacked. <laughs> <laughs> that's unusual. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. And I know you. I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> Dr. Dean, can I take a selfie with yes, you? Yes, you may, but he's first. Yeah. Okay, thank yes. you. Thank you. The history. Tell us a little bit about yourself, sir. I'm uh, Howard Dean. I was the chairman of the Democratic uh, Party for uh, four years from 2005 to 2009 helping Barack Obama becoming president. And before that, I ran for president of the United States, but I didn't win in the primaries. Thank you, sir. Thank you.